Today, I'm gonna to answer the question, how to convince someone to join network marketing. The first thing I'm gonna cover is why you should never convince anyone of anything, but I'm gonna share with you the right way to build your business. Next, I'm gonna share with you the reasons that people tell you no. And lastly, I'm gonna share with you the four keys to grow a serious business. Okay, so the title is How to Convince, and my very first suggestion is never convince, right? Like, hey, what's the deal here, man? First, let me, let me help you with an understanding. What is convincing? Convincing is getting someone to do what I want them to do. Persuading is getting someone to do what they want to do already. What do we mean by that, okay? So if someone doesn't want to make extra money or you know start a business, but I really want them to, then I'm trying to convince them to do something they don't wanna do. If someone does wanna make money, then I need to be better at persuading them to see my point of view to see my opportunity, to see my possibility. Convincing is what gives network marketing probably 50% of its bad reputation, is people trying to shame or guilt, you know, I helped you move in college, least you could do is join my business. What? Like, what the hell does that mean? Is this a friend tax? Oh, because we're friends, now I gotta join your, your dumb thing, right? So don't ever convince anybody of anything. Instead, see if they're open. Hey, are you open to learning more about this thing that I'm doing to make some extra money? Now, is, is that hardcore aggressive? Of course not. Put yourself in a little bit different situation. What if you bought a lumber yard? Would you go to your friends and say, hey, get down here and get a two by four. <laughs> you, I need you to buy some plywood today, I got a quota. No, that would be crazy. Now, what might you do? You might call them and say, hey, you may or may not know this, but I just bought a lumber yard. If you need any wood, let me know. I'll take care of you, I'll, you know, help you. I'll give you a discount maybe, buy one, get one, whatever, right? You would tell them, you wouldn't pressure them. You wouldn't try to you know, figure out how to convince them, how do I get them to get some darn wood from me, right? You would never do that, right? So see them as the same thing. You're in a business. This isn't a favor business. This isn't a guilt business, not a shame business. It's a business. If you try to convince them, you're gonna lose some friends. You're gonna have people talk behind your back. You're gonna say, oh God, here comes Ray, trying to get me again. You shouldn't be trying to get anybody. What you should be trying to do is just see if they're open. Hey, are you open to take a look at what I'm doing to lose some weight? Hey, are you open to take a look at what I'm doing to organic shampoo? Whatever it is that you have, service, product, or opportunity, see if they're open to learning more. They're not ready to join. They're not ready to give you their credit card or their social security number. They're not ready for that. Find out if they're open first, then go from there. So what are some of the reasons that people tell you no? One of the big ones is you not understanding their position. Here's an example. I remember walking through the mall and, and all of a sudden out of nowhere, I, I feel a dap. And this guy in a kiosk in the middle had just rubbed dead sea salt on my arm. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, like, what, what the heck, right? And this was, this was pre-COVID, just so you know. I don't think they'd do that right now. But, um, you know, like all of a sudden, dap, I got this stuff on my arm. And so what was the big sin? The sin of assumption. He assumed I'm totes cool with having this stuff on, on my arm. Maybe I would have been if he had asked, but he didn't ask. He just dabbed it right on me, right? So what he didn't understand and what most network marketers don't understand is position. Okay, so he doesn't know if I'm open to that. I'm at position zero. If he says, hey, can I show you my dead sea salt stuff? It's pretty cool. I'll just show you a real quick demonstration. And I said, yes, I would be at position one. I've, I've now said, mm, okay, show me more kind sir. But instead he just assumed. Assumption will get you no's where you might've gotten a yes. So if you go to one of your friends and family and say, hey, I'm doing this thing, you should totally do it. Well, a lot of people are contrarian. Just the fact that you said they should do it, maybe they would have if you had asked them first. But by you pressuring them and trying to convince them, a much higher chance of them saying, no, nah, I'm not interested, even if they are. Here's another phenomenon like this, and this is you know, how people get into this 
you know, kind of habitual kind of response is you walk into a store, you're looking for a belt buckle or you're looking for a purse or whatever. And the person behind the counter says, hey, can I help you? Nah, I'm good. You actually need their help, right? You don't know where the belt buckle is or the purse is, but you just have this automatic response, right? Find out if someone is open instead of trying to pressure them, instead of trying to, you know, tell them that it's a no brainer. It's not a no brainer. It's never a no brainer to buy any product or join any kind of company because if they don't have interest or desire, it's not a no brainer for them. And so it may be a no brainer for you because of your desires, but without understanding their desire, it's not a no brainer. So before we get to my last point, I'd love to hear from you. What's the worst line you've had someone say to you to try to get you to join a network marketing company? I know I have some doozies, but I'd love to hear yours. So what are the four keys to grow a serious business? And they all start with P. I made it simple for you, all right? Number one, pipeline. How many people you're reaching out to? How many people you're following up with? How many appointments are you setting? How many videos are you sending out? How many people are you getting on presentations? That's your pipeline. And it's interesting, people will come up to me and say, Ray, bro, I'm, I'm, I really need to make some money. I'm just like you were. Well, when I started, I was dead broke in foreclosure, but I became the number one income earner of a company that I joined during that period and got out of foreclosure, got out of, of, of being dead broke because I was hungry. Now, if that person that says they're hungry, I'll ask them a question. I'll say, how many people did you reach out to last week? And if they give me an excuse or that number is less than 10, if it's single digits, then they're not that hungry. And so pipeline, how many people? What are your numbers? And here's something I learned at the age of 18. I, was, I worked for a telemarketing company and uh, it was... Uh, not the greatest job. About 30% of the time I was cursed out. I wasn't very good. And I heard a quote, and I don't know who, who originated this quote, but they said, what you lack in skill, make up for in numbers. So I was making 450 calls a day. <laughs> you make 400, now no network marketer on planet earth, perhaps in history, has ever made 450 calls a day, to be honest, right? It's, I mean, it's hard to even get that you know many numbers. But you make 450 calls a day, you're gonna get better, you're gonna get tougher, and you're gonna get some yeses, you're gonna get some lay down sales with that, that kind of, of, of number. And so I went from really sucking to top 2% of that company because not that I was as skilled as the, the top of the top, but because I just dialed more than them. And so if you aren't getting a lot of yeses, then increase your numbers, increase the pipeline. Number two, which is a skill inside the pipeline, posture. How you hold yourself. How are you affected by negativity? So if someone says to me, uh, oh, those things don't work, I say, cool, no problem. If that's your belief, it's probably not gonna work for you. Do you know anyone that does wanna make some money, right? I don't have to convince them. I don't try to turn them around and, and see, you know, uh, and, and tell them, no, 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 it's really legit and all that. I don't, I don't try to convince people. I know it works. I've seen people of all races, all origins, all education levels, succeed, make money in network marketing. So I know what's possible. Posture is the belief in what you have regardless of external acceptance or approval. So be postured and you will increase your numbers. Third is position. Now I've talked about this in this video of knowing where is your prospect. So if a prospect isn't responding to my messages, I don't just assume they're in. Hey, where's your credit card, <laughs> right? If I don't know anything about someone, I'm not gonna assume that they're ready to join or ready to purchase something. That's out of position. I always keep in mind the position of my prospect makes my language a lot better. Last but not least, perspective. What are you spending your mental energy around? Are you spending it on all the things that you don't like or don't want in your life? Are you, you know, energetically, uh, you know, angry or upset or frustrated, overwhelmed, disappointed? Well, then you're gonna get more of that. That's how it works. Your emotions are, they get propagated, right? You know, and especially before you go to bed, that subconscious kicks in and says, okay, what, is, what does this guy want? Oh, got it, he wants more disappointment. Mm -hmm. We can do that, no problem, right? So you have to focus on seeing yourself as already successful if you ever wanna speed things up. Now, I've noticed that you can outwork this emotional thing, but it is a lot more work. You wanna get there faster, use your mindset, see yourself as successful, focus more on 
memories of your future than memories of your past and you'll be on your way. Hey, if you'd like more help on what to say to get more people saying yes to you, then check out our social media script book. This script book, which I wrote myself, is all the different scripts that I use to recruit hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people, people that I knew and also people I didn't know. And so if you wanna get better at that, I'll put a link down in the description. Click that, grab the, the new script book. We just updated this, by the way, on how to follow up, what to say to reach out to people. It'll really help you.